Hey there, math fans. Part three of my nature and math series. Can't get away from sand just yet. What happens if you start dumping sand in a pile? What does it form? And that video in the corner is actually from the Wikipedia page. I didn't make that. But you can see what forms. You get this pile. Really, my goal in this video, and I have a longer video where you can learn more about this, is to show you sort of how I happened upon this. So in the previous video, I talked about um, sand piles, bar can dunes, and this angle you get is 34 degrees for dry sand. That's actually called the angle of repose, and different materials pile up to different angles before they start falling over. People have even studied snow and used it to talk about avalanches. Uh, corn doesn't pile very high. Wheat, um, if you go to eastern Washington, you'll see lots of piles like this. So I didn't, all of these are just numbers I found online. There's lots of articles about this. Do check out my full video uh, and you can see a lot more about this. I think this could be a really great project and you could use it in an elementary class, middle school, high school, college. So I, f I feel that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm making these videos is things that could lead to interesting questions. I don't have the answers here. Maybe you can publish things about this. So what I did is I, in the longer video, I find the volume of those. It would be interesting for students to a surface area. And then I asked a few follow-up questions. So here's the follow-up questions for you to check out. Um, they're this. So if you start with just a circular region on the ground, pour sand on it, you get a cone. And I made it so that I could tweak things, tweak the angle of repose. And then I said, what if you make the base a square? You start to pile sand on it. Oh, you get this pyramid shape. And again, I made it so I could change different things about it. Then to me, what was interesting is what happens if you put a hole in the middle and start piling sand on it? Ooh, that's quite a bit more interesting. There's lots of fun little things. I didn't find the volume of that. I would encourage someone to try that out. What if there's many holes? What if the region on the ground is very unusual? You can see in the Wikipedia page, they play around with this. Sorry, that's the same one. And I think there's something, some in somewhat interesting math, maybe it's easy to solve, connecting the area of the base with the volume you get or the surface area you get. But there's a lot of unusual things that can happen. So I thought they were interesting shapes. Let me know if you find that interesting. I hope that you turn it into a project for one of your classes.